guys. Today finally was the day that all the work and all the research and everything that we have been talking in this channel finally came reality and it made sense. And I'm gonna show you right now what I'm talking about. Today was a day that all the work, like I said, uh, all the research and trying to understand Instacart finally shows results. So let me show you today. Uh, I did pretty good and I want to share with you why I'm so happy. Uh, oh, there's one batch available. Let's see. Ooh, that's juicy, but that store is like 30 minutes from my me and I'm tired, so I'm not going to do it. So let me show you. We've been talking about speed and ratings and cancellation rate and uh, accuracy and all these stuff uh, for your metrics in Instacart and how to improve to get better batches. And let's see, yesterday my last order dropped my cancellation rate to 0% finally. And uh, I've been keeping uh, my speed here. I'm not trying too hard anymore. I will try to keep it between 50 and 60. But still, when I go to a store, uh, I don't click start shopping until I have a bunch of things on the cart. Uh, so when I have like, I don't know, a good amount of, of items, start scan, uh, start shopping and then scan, 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 scan. And that way you drop your, your average uh, speed substantially. Like you can see all my last, all my orders for today, pretty much were under 60 seconds between 40. And then I got some pretty fast ones that were Costco orders that I go inside, I grab everything. And then when I'm on the lane, I click start shopping, scan everything. And so that's, that's how I get these low, low uh, speeds. And also, uh, the results from yesterday were, were not as good as today because of the cancellation rate. I want to think that I don't think it's just a coincidence. I don't think it's luck. And I'm going to tell you what my definition of luck is. So I started today with five stars uh, that I'm thankful for that. Also, I don't have any more reported issues, which is good and also 0% cancellation rate, which is great. And I think I started today with 55 speed, something like that. So I'm, uh, I'll, I'll just try to keep this between 50 and 60 seconds. And let me show you now uh, what I did today. Today's current week and Wednesday, July 21st. And boom, here you got it. Uh, I got my first order at 10 a.m. It was a Costco one. And you see it was a fat tip. This was amazing. But the store was like 40 minutes away from me. And I was like, fuck it. And so that was the first. And then I got this one. I'm gonna also, also tell you how many miles I drove today and how much I spent on gas. And what my um, metric for that is, or my goal uh, with miles and the money that I make. This was also a pretty good one. And by the end of the day, I got this uh, Costco, which was far away from, from where I live. I finished this order at uh, 7 p.m. exactly. And it was 55 minutes from where I live. So I had to drop one hour uh, back home, but it's okay. You know, as you can see, $326 was pretty, pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm happy because all that we've been talking in this channel, also I learned from, from uh, you in the comments that you're commenting, oh, this helped me, this helped me, and I do this, I do that. And all that uh, just bring the results that you're seeing right now, which is what I had before. And I'm gonna tell you also one thing that I noticed this morning. Yesterday I made just over 200, like 204 or something like that. And I noticed that this batch from yesterday increased the tip. You see it was 28 and then this morning I woke up and it was $39. <laughs> and I go back to the comments, uh, which is pretty cool. I love seeing comments uh, because psychologically, I think it helps me a lot. It, it makes me feel like, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing great. All my values, all my standards 
are seen by my customers and that's what you want to you gotta be you you gotta be kind you gotta be professional so that people will notice and it will not only be reflected in the amount of money that you make but also in these and i love reading these things because i don't know it just makes me feel like yeah i'm doing great and I, I, this probably sounds like bragging and all that but i really want to inspire uh all of you that uh with all this work you'll see results as long as you do professionally uh, you are kind to your customers uh, you are proactive and you're willing to do the extra and so here's the last one it says uh it was avocados and the guy told me uh, that pick some ripe avocados and I grew up in Mexico and, and my mom and my dad always uh, teach us, or me and my siblings, how to pick up all the products and the best ones. And you know, in Mexico, if you've ever been there, it's tons of fruit that you can pick up wherever you go. It's super cheap and there's tons of fruit and vegetables. And avocados are one of my favorite things ever. So I'm very, very, very picky with avocados because I know how they look when they are ripe. I love avocados and I know how to pick them. So uh, these last comments and knowing how to pick good avocados made me 10 extra dollars in tip yesterday. So that's pretty good for me because I see the result uh, of three weeks of working uh, in improving uh, the metrics like uh, as you can see the 4th of July was a slow week I was with family pretty much here in Texas and I was traveling from Atlanta to Texas and then this week was also slow as you can see just a couple of days uh, in these two weeks that I hit over 200 and yeah now this week Monday and Tuesday were eh, but today where all these good metrics finally came together, you can see the results, uh, $326. So yeah, just don't quit. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I know it might be different in every city, but as you can see, it was only seven and a half hours active time. And in reality it was a little bit more because I uh, left home 9 a.m. And I pick up my first batch until 10 a.m. And I got home at uh, 8 p.m. Which total would be like 11 hours. But it was uh, one hour uh, driving from home to the store to the first one. And uh, one hour coming back uh, from home. So total was like nine hours I would say. Here's how much I spent in gas. And this is the miles that I drove. So yeah, my goal is always at least $250 every day. So with that money, I can pay for my gas of the day. And if I eat outside, outside, um, I also pay uh, my meals with that. So that it will leave me 200, at least 200 free uh, for all my expenses that I have. You know your bills my car payments uh, insurance rent whatever you have to pay that leaves me with 200 uh, to pay my bills and keep for me and for my investments and yeah but well of course if I can do a lot more I will do a lot more the only thing that I regret about today is not waking up earlier <laughs> I set my alarms at 6 a.m. but I always end up sleeping a little bit more so now that I see these results, I feel a lot more motivated to wake up tomorrow earlier and start maybe 6 a.m., 7 a.m., start driving somewhere. So by 10 a.m., I hope I'm close by a Costco. And yeah, I just wanted to share this with all of you, all the things that we've been talking about in this channel. Finally showing results. Oh, and before I forget, I was going to tell you my definition of luck and what I think luck means. Because I know people probably is gonna think or gonna say in the comments that oh yeah you got lucky and maybe but also look at this uh, we know it's Wednesday and Wednesday is the slowest day uh, to shop like let's say I was in uh, North Dallas as you can see Wednesday is the slowest day compared to the others Tuesday and Wednesday are the worst days and even though it's been my best day in like three weeks so 
yeah it's not luck uh you know uh, uh we've been working in in all this for three weeks my definition of, of luck is when the opportunity and your preparation merge together if you're not prepared you're never gonna see opportunities and if you get to see opportunities but you're not prepared to take them then you're never gonna be lucky so if you want to be lucky you gotta be prepared for whatever you want to do in life not only in instacart if you want to achieve your goals if you want to get a raise or get a new job or whatever you want to achieve in life you gotta be prepared you gotta start preparing yourself educate yourself learn then you identify opportunities a lot easier and then when you identify them you will know how to jump into them and get lucky so yeah that's my definition of luck uh, I hope it makes sense and I hope you adopt it too and spread it out. Yeah, I think that's all for this video. Yeah. And that's all guys. Um, this video was supposed to post yesterday, but I lost some footage and I had to record this in the morning again. But all you see in the video is from yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm making another video uh, with all the tips and tricks that you guys posted on the comments on the other videos. So stay tuned for that. I'll see if I, I have time to do it tonight. And yeah, that's all. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.